Hi everyone, welcome to today's video. So in today's video, we're going to show you how to make comparison charts in Excel. So comparison charts, okay, they look like this. So the idea is you present two columns of data side by side, okay, trying to see how far each other will go to their respective sides. So for example, here, I want to compare the maybe the sales or the purchases per gender. I have the column for the male and I have the column for the female. So what I want to happen is that the female will be on the left side and then the male will be on the right side. So with this, we start our chart. Now this is actually a task for the bar chart. So if we highlight okay, the data that we want to be in the chart and we insert a bar chart so you would notice that the females are also going to the right side and that is because bar charts when the numbers are positive will go to the right so what we have to do is to create a column okay, that will correspond to the ones on the left side of the comparison in this case i want the female numbers to be okay, the uh, numbers on the left side. So I will create a column for them. And then we have to convert their value into negative number. So the very simple formula is you just have to type equal sign and then negative and then the cell of the female. And that would create a negative equivalent, sort of like a mirror okay, to the female numbers. And we're now ready to create a chart. So we highlight the plot, okay, the names, and then we get the positive numbers, and then we also get the negative numbers. And then we're going to insert, and then this time a bar chart. So you would notice versus the one that we did a while ago, that here the bar charts for the females are on the left side. And that is because we're plotting the negative numbers. But of course, we still have things to do in our chart. You would notice that the axis labels are in the middle. So we have to change that. So if that's the case, we have to right click on the data, uh, on the axis itself, and then click Format Axis. That will produce the pain that we have on the right side now. And honestly, you have to, you know, try to figure out what option is the right one here. But if you don't have any time to do that, then actually we have to go to the labels. And then under labels, you should see their label position. Currently set as next to axis. Now, if I am going to choose high, that will send the labels to the right side. So the one on the left are the low ones, and the one on the right are the high ones. And honestly, you don't really have to memorize that. You just have to figure out, like, if, for example, you click here, the label position as high, and it went to the right. So this implies that if I want them to go to the left, then I have to simply go to the low position for them to go to the left side. And then, now that we have the um, axis on the left side, the next thing that we're going to fix would be the bars. They're not really aligned to each other. So we're going to uh, click on the bars, and that should update your right side pane into format data series. And again, if you don't have this, you simply have to right click on the bar or any one of the bars and then format data series. Take note, it should be the entire series that you right click, not this one. Because if you double click an element, then if you right click, it will say format data point, which is not really useful for us in this scenario. So we have to click on the entire series and then format data series. And the one that controls that would be the overlap tool. 
So the series overlap is currently zero, so meaning the charts will not overlap. That's why it's zero. So we will drag it to 100% overlap. So technically, the females and the males will overlap each other, except that the females are negative, so they do not show up okay, as an overlapping element for our males. They're going to the other side. But if you look now, they're all they're like aligned to each other. Now, the next thing that we want to add into our chart would be the labels. So we'll have to go to the plus sign and then check data labels. And now you have the data labels, but it has negative values okay, for the females. That's not a surprise. So for that case, we have to right click and then click Format Data Labels. So that would be an option for the number. We're technically going to format okay, the data labels into a different format code. So right now they're in general. I am going to switch them to a custom format. Now when you are in the custom format, you have to type a format code for this. So you have to remove the format code that we have there by default and then type this syntax. So it's going to be pound sign and then this one, the semicolon, another pound sign, and then semicolon, and then another semicolon. So if you're wondering like, what the format code represents. A format code represents four numbers, or four types of numbers, positive, negative, zero, and empty. So what I said here is that if the number is a positive number, then we just keep it as it is. If the, pos if the number is a negative number, then we just get the number. We don't put the negative sign of that number. So we just need the number. So this would cause the negative sign to disappear for negative numbers. The next element is if it, uh, if the value is zero. So the value is zero, then nothing shows up. So I'm not going to put anything there. And then the next one, so I'll just put a semicolon to transfer me to the next uh, element. And the last would be, what if the value is empty? So I'm also not going to put anything so that if the value is empty, then it won't have any data label. So I only have the one for positive, the one for negative, which I do not, I did not put a negative sign. And then just empty, okay, formats for the zero and the empty. So I'll click add now. So you would notice that I now have the numbers formatted as negative or as uh, no negative sign, I mean. I also have to do the same for the labels here. So you would notice that the axis for the females are also negative. So I'll have to do it as well here. So I'll go to format, click custom. And uh, since I already have a format code previously, that I created, that format code will now be found here. You don't have to type it again. But just in case it's not here, then you simply have to do what we did a while ago, just delete the format code here and add a new format code. But in my case, I just have to select this one. And you would notice that the negative numbers now disappeared in my axis. And from here, we're done. We simply have to change the title, so comparison, of purchases for gender. And then we also have one more thing to fix. You would notice that the chips are the ones on top and then the juices are the one below. And that's because bar charts by default reverse the order of um, elements. So no worries. You simply have to right click on the, uh, on the axis, then format axis. So you would notice one of the axis options is to reverse the order of the categories. So that would send the 
um, data bars in the right position as the same in the table. And that's it. We already have our comparison chart okay, coming from this table over here. Okay, so I think I this one, wait, oh, hold on. Before we end this video, we have to change now the position of these numbers. So we'll right click on it and then format axis. So you simply have to look for a setting that corresponds to that. So that would be the labels. And it's again, the same thing. It's next to axis. If we go to high, where will it go? Okay, that's what you want to do, right? And that's it. You want to change the color, then you simply have to right click on the series and then change the color. We don't want something too bright, if I may say. I want something like pastel colors like this. And there's our comparison chart. And that's it for today's video. I'll see you in the next one.